Hello. So today marks a month until I leave my apartment in Stanton. So I decided in the next month I'm going to be going to all the places that I haven't tried yet but I want to try before I leave Stanton. So first off, I recently read a couple pages of a book and I decided that I really didn't like it. I was recommended it by this girly at a thrift store and she said I would really like it just not knowing anything about me. And it did sound kind of good but the first, I think it was the second page, the girly walks in and her dog, she finds her neighbor's dog in a sack with a rattlesnake and it's dead and the bag is wet and it's like an old ritual torture thing where they would throw a human into a sack with like a rattlesnake or something deadly and then throw it into the water so you're like drowning and being attacked at the same time so I was like nah that's not setting the vibe right for this book so I decided I would take it to one of the little free libraries because there's so many around here so I went to a new one. It was kind of out in the boonies, like I had to do a lot of left, right, left, right, left, right. So I went there. Definitely the best one in Stanton that I've been to. I just randomly, you know how I am with my numerology, I just, there were so many books and I was not about to go through all of them and read the description for all of them. So I just picked, <laughs> so I just picked the eighth book. 14th Colony, Steve Barry. Honestly, I might ask if my dad's read this before because this looks like a bit of him. It does not look like a bit of me, but. It looks a lot like one of the other books that I picked up from the other library, free library. Yeah, it's like, um, Cold War vibes, so, anyhow, and then I tried to go, I should have taken a video, but I didn't, I tried to go, there's one bookstore in Stanton that I haven't been to, and it's called Used Books, so it sounds like my cup of tea, it's just like a rinky dinky little place. Number one, it's on the sketchiest road in all of Stanton, like it is famously where people get robbed and stabbed in Stanton, so it's already not in a good place. And then I drove past it, and it's just a dark basement with a little piece of paper printed out that says used books. And I am not one to judge a book by its cover figuratively and literally. You know, my favorite ice cream joint is a little shack in a parking lot. Like, I'm not a judgmental person when it comes to the exteriors of places. But it was, it looked like there were no lights on. There was obviously not a single car. There was no sign indicating what it was. It was in the basement of some church. So I didn't go. And that's okay, you know? I would rather regret not going than go and be murdered, you know? And then a new shop opened up downtown and they had books. It was like stationery, collectibles, and books. And so I walk in, it's literally the size of my closet. And there, like by books, there's like two poetry books on there and I'm like, not the vibe. So I went to one of my other recent find favorite stores downtown and I got this little ring it's so beautiful and I got a matching one for my best friend hopefully she likes it but three bucks for a cute little handmade ring and I also got her little graduation present I don't know if she's gonna watch this so I won't spoil it but it's really cute so but yeah I went there just because I was already, I was downtown, I was in the area, and so I just, I, after two fails, I wanted to do something, right? So I went there, and then, 
Oh, and then I tried out a new coffee place because there's so many great coffee places in Stanton. And this place actually follows my brother on Instagram randomly because he's like a woodworker and so they like his woodworking stuff and so they followed him, which is really random. So I went to Crucible Coffee Roasters. It was the freshest coffee I've ever tasted in my life. Like, it was so crispy. And just, there are people working on that. And just, the vibes were beautiful. There was a little outdoor seating area with picnic tables and nice little Adirondack chairs. Hi. It was just really beautiful. And so I was out there, I was reading my book. I Recently, my mom recommended me another book. And so I checked it out at the library, but there were like 10 holds on it. So I finally got a hold of this little number. It's so beautiful so far. I'm like, like halfway done. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. So I just had a little iced latte with oat milk. Sat in the sun for a bit. There were little, there was a moment where I was just sipping my coffee, reading my book, <laughs> and literal butterflies were just like floating around my head. I wish I could have gotten a video, but I was just so in the moment. But it, that was just like a little bit funny how beautiful the moment was. <laughs> so yeah, that was my little day. There are a lot of people staring at me. This is kind of a busy part of town. <laughs> busy. Um, but yeah. I really like my new ring. The main reason I wanted to go out in the town, not to mention like I want to like get through my- I have a few more places that I want to stop at, not today, but before I leave. But I just wanted to show off my new shirt, because I got a new shirt. Whenever I get a new outfit, I like to show it off. So yeah, that was my little chill day in Stanton. It didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to go, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed. If you are a coffee connoisseur, you can order Crucible Coffee Roasters beans, and I think they have tea as well, online. They ship worldwide, but I would highly recommend. They have beautiful coffee. There's a girlie walking towards me, so I will be cutting this short. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I enjoyed. I had a great day. Yeah. My first week as a college graduate. Pretty good. I'm a free man. Toodles. Bye.